all right so we will see how we can use turtle from python and turtle comes from python standard library so you do not need to install anything additional on top of python so if you have python 3 plus installed in your machine you should be able to use the turtle same code i'm writing to begin with you need to first import the turtle library into your code file and then once you import the turtle library um, you basically can start drawing into your screen so for example if i call forward and then move 100 points and to keep the turtle window um, in a in a s position where it will wait for me to close i can just do that and then run this code and this will just move the cursor okay so you can see that something is happening at this point in time i can also change the speed of the turtle uh, like how fast it will move like if i just want to say speed is let's say 10 and then if i draw this and draw a couple of times it will basically be moving again and again so you can see that it moved basically um, 300 units so that's all good now i don't want to move the line one after another so if i let's say do four times what happens it moves all in the same direction and it actually goes out of the screen size if i just have to um, increase to see like that's all fine but what i wanted to do is that after every move that turtle is making i want to change the direction of the pointer so to change the direction of the pointer use something called right or left so imagine you as a person you can only take turn either right or left uh, right and if you have to move forward you don't take any turn if you have to move backward yes you need to take turn but in that turtle we call it backward like forward we call it backward so you say that turtle dot right and then i move 90 percent if i continue to have that movement after every uh, forward thing right change my direction to 90 degree uh, that's the angle I'm, I'm going what it, it ends up doing is that it ends up creating a square right so you can see that it is happening at my screen at this point in time so if i say 15 and then try running that you can see that it is right now happening maybe i say 100 i don't know whether it will be too fast uh, it's still slow so thousand maybe let me see that it's it's just moving in that direction so i'll don't use that so it is fine if i continue this so you can see that it just draws the the square pretty efficiently however when you are in python you do not need to repeat stuff so you can just run a for loop i can say for i in range and because you are doing it four times you just say four so it'll be zero to four which is actually five numbers but if you see the range done do not take the last one so you can just consider that it's a four movement which will happen this will also draw the same square now you can also color this square so let's use some color so if you say uh, turtle dot color and if you say that i want to have the red as my point pen color and the yellow is my fill color so you can provide two colors in the color and then here you can say begin turtle dot begin fill and then once this loop is complete you can say turtle dot end fill that will fill the uh, square with red border and yellow color that's all fine now this is a square i if i want to let's say draw a rectangle so in case of rectangle i need to move let's say um, a little bit more so it looks a good rectangle so i say i move 200 lines forward then i take a turn towards up and then move 100 lines so i need to repeat this stuff 
uh, with a different value but my angle remains same so I can say that I want to move 100 and then I take an angle but this time instead of running it four times I run it two times because this is a rectangle I already have done twice in this so what I can do I can just close this run it one more and then you can see that turtle now draws a rectangle with the yellow color in in place all fine what if I want to add a little more fun to it so I want to let's say keep this here and then I I just want to hide the whole thing over here and I want to draw a simple circle to draw a circle in turtle it's fairly simple so you say draw a circle and then when you say draw a circle you need to say what is the radius of the circle so it will be 100 unit right so if I now draw this and then you can see that it basically draws a circle with a red uh, line and yellow fill exactly as is with no difference after this I'll just close this and I want to add a little more fun to it so I if I let's say run a loop uh, again here and I say range for I range 10 times and then I kind of try to draw this circle again and again 10 times what this will do this will basically be adding um, add, adding on top of the same circle so if I just run this and you see that this draws one time it again repeats one another time it repeats and so on and so forth so there is no change in that either I can change the radius so let's try doing that so if I want to let's say change the radius to plus i because I'm using i in the loop so I can leverage that same value so what happens it first time that circle is this second time it increases third time it goes a bit more third time and because the the value of i is just one unit so you don't see a lot of change but it is now not drawing on top of the same circle so if you let's say you want to increase the size of the kind of uh, value of i so multiply by 10 so it probably will have some impact to it so you can see that now this is drawing more circles right and then it basically creates some sort of design so it is one way of thinking um, that we are now trying to draw some animated design which has got a geometrical symmetry which is fun to really see and then come up with in a short program like python where you can just draw things in a very simple way right you didn't do a lot of thing right you just ran a for loop called a circle just change the radius uh, every time you are drawing a new circle so you're changing by 10 units right that's the thing you can do you can even change the color uh, each of the circle is filling out so you you can do a lot more stuff but what if if i let's say don't change the radius i remain with 10 but i change the direction of my pointer every time i have this i can say that uh, hey turtle you move a uh, little bit of right let's say towards maybe uh, 25 degree so that's the the point I want to move and then if I now draw the first circle gets drawn and then it moves 25 degree draws another circle moves to 25 degrees so it basically creates a flower like pattern right and easy you can see that it's, it's very easy to do that you can keep changing the value and then keep seeing a different result so it's really fun to watch how this drawing really takes shape right and you can see that um, this this comes up with a nice nice looking values right so this is all fine so what i can also do is that i can even change the color of my um, background and all these things so i'm not going into that so let me um let me say i want to move this to 18 right and then i say 20 values and then what I say, I choose the turtle dot speed and make the maximum speed that by saying zero. If I do that and then run it here, so what happens? It draws a quickly, it draws a pattern, right, and finishes everything pretty fast. You can see that it just happened in my screen in front of me, but it took some uh, 
fraction of second to really draw the thing so it happened in my screen just like that you can change the background color to something like black which looks nice in this kind of pattern so you can say turtle dot bg color so bg stands for background equals to um does it take a color reds it says black so you can just use a simple english color name and that takes the english color name and you can see that it just draws that nice pattern so it looks like nice always nice in the black background so we'll continue to keep that as is right and then i can just play the same thing with the um rectangle i drew earlier right so if i just enable the rectangle and then have another for loop on top of it like say i want to say for j in range and i say range of 20 times and then i run the whole thing that's one rectangle every time i go through each of the values of j right that's one time and then each time the j is finishes um, i start uh, moving the turtle i can move it uh, first time also so once this j comes inside the loop so i can go in that and then let's say uh, turtle dot right and then move let's say 20 degree to the right so you can keep changing the value as i said right it's not something you need to always follow along so you can just keep changing the value and it draws a nice pattern and it comes in the screen so you can see that in, in the black you generally have a either um let's say i can use um uh cyan and then maybe i can say orange and it will change the color uh, to this cyan so it looks nice in the in the in the kind of black background so you can keep changing the color so you can even have a lighter one let's say light green so the green stands for light green so if you run that and it will be filling out with the light green color and it looks different so you just keep changing keep playing and you find nice results so if i let's say um if i let's say change the value to this to say something smaller and then make the make the round bit more let's say 50 and then say i change the angle to 10 so every time the turtle uh, finishes drawing this so it moves 10 10 unit uh, right and it gives a nice looking uh, thing and then once this is done it will just fill it out so you can see it's pretty fast you can even change the color for example if i let's say have a list of colors huh? so if you say that i have a list of colors and then you pass on the colors in a set okay so you say that i've got cyan i have i can also use white because this is a black background now and then i say that i want uh, yellow and then i can say i have let's say green and then i use orange you should basically keep the, the similar color together uh, and then i say yellow orange green white and something light i say pink okay so you can see that now i have got six colors right zero one two six six colors and then what i can do uh, i can just um uh, change the the pen color right uh, not instead of begin fill and end fill i just hide them for the time being i don't need big end fill end fill instead i say that i use the the pen color so every time i draw a rectangle i change the pen color so i say that uh, give me the pen color that is turtle dot pen color and pick up the color from this colors collection but take the index of let's say whatever the value of j is and mod of six so if it 
uh, let's say is six it will be zero it will pick up the zero at the unit um, okay so j into six not six let's see what it says so if i go ahead with this um, and then try to run let's try seeing that it didn't change any color so it just picked up the, the value so if i do not use this into six you can see that it now has got a different color coming in right so it just repeats the color um, as this finishes so you get to see a different um, different set of colors coming in right it might look better in the in the sense of if you let's say use it with a circle thing and then you can just change the the whole thing and let's say I removed it and then I use this pen color and I use this pen color over here and I hide this whole thing and what it does it does the same stuff it doesn't have any j so let me use i and then i just run it and you can see that it is it is changing so maybe i can say move 100 times but change the angle to let's say five degree so if you do that so it does a nice little ring with many different colors so if you choose colors you change the color combination it changes uh, drastically and then you can even uh, add more colors like red blue and all those things which i didn't use so you can say that i want to use red i want to use blue etc so it becomes now eight so i can use mod eight so that every color will be taken care so you can see that now it also comes with those other colors which I've added. So you keep changing, you keep seeing a different result always, and then it's a nice looking design. And you can see that turtle is really visible. So I can, once this drawing is complete, what I can do, I can say turtle dot hide turtle, and that will hide my turtle cursor. So you won't see in the screen that turtle showing up anymore once this drawing is over. So it'll just disappear. So the, the small little arrow will will be done oh once this whole thing is complete so you can see that it's now disappeared so it's pretty looks pretty clean you can just take a screenshot and then share it with your friend if you want to really uh, build a card and then do some design you can use this to come up with this design and then uh, use these pictures in your drawing so with this i want to th uh, end and thank and then i will let you explore this turtle it's pretty fun working with turtle um, just keep trying keep doing things and you will you will find many more different stuff